Waking up to who you are requires letting go of who you imagine yourself to be. Any person capable of angering you becomes your master. He can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. He who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. Between stimulus and response there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. There are two things a person should never be angry at, what they can help and what they cannot. People are like dirt. They can either nourish you and help you grow as a person, or they can stunt your growth and make you wilt and die. I have learned to seek happiness by limiting my desires, rather than in attempting to satisfy them. The secret to happiness you see is not found in seeking more, but in developing the capacity to enjoy less. A hero is born among a hundred. A wise man is found among a thousand. But an accomplished one might not be found even among a hundred thousand men. Any man may easily do harm, but not every man can do good to another. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he has not. Aspire to be like Mount Fuji, with such a broad and solid foundation that the strongest earthquake cannot move you, and so tall that the greatest enterprises of common men seem insignificant from your lofty perspective. With your mind as high as Mount Fuji, you can see all things clearly, and you can see all the forces that shape events, not just the things happening near to you. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. When it is obvious that goals can't be reached, don't adjust the goals, but adjust the action steps. If a person gave your body to any stranger he met on his way, you would certainly be angry. And do you feel no shame in handing over your own mind to be confused and mystified by anyone who happens to verbally attack you? There is only one way to avoid criticism. Do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed.
Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. All things are subject to interpretation. Whichever interpretation prevails at a given time is a function of power and not truth. It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough, and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements, if it were all well invested. But when it is wasted in heedless luxury, and spent on no good activity, we are forced at last by death's final constraint to realize that it has passed away before we knew it was passing. So it is, we are not given a short life, but we make it short, and we are not ill-supplied, but wasteful of it. Life is long enough, if you know how to use it.